is going to my fellow floppers and welcome back to the channel. So in today's video guys, I'm going to be teaching you the best controller settings on Call of Duty Modern Warfare Warzone. Now this game's been out a couple of weeks, well this mode's been out a couple of weeks and it's free to all users. So there's a high mass of players playing this game right now. And of course it is cross platform so you've got your PlayStation, Xbox and PC users all playing this which is absolutely awesome. Now for you guys that like to use the controller on Xbox and on PlayStation of course this video is more suited to you. Also with this video as well if you use a scuff or don't use a scuff it doesn't really make a difference these settings are absolutely perfect and these are the settings I like to use myself personally I am currently a scuff controller user as well now before we go on this video guys if you haven't already and if you're new around here feel free to subscribe to the channel turn on post notifications so you don't miss a single video and also guys go follow me over on twitch I do stream almost daily and over this weekend I will be streaming over there uh, the modern warfare 2 remastered campaigns if you guys want to come tune in feel free to do so but anyway with all that being said guys you did click on this video to find out the best controller settings and how you can improve within warzone and um, so i'm going to jump right into it now like i said at the beginning this is useful for both xbox and playstation users also as well if you have a scuff controller or not it doesn't really matter like i said i use one myself so first of all then guys we are going to go onto the controller settings and have a look what you want to be using on there so my button layout then so my button layout is tactical now i play tactical on both multiplayer and i also play this on Warzone. Now what Tactical does is it switches down your knifing button and your uh, crouching button. So it would be B, the right stick, and on PlayStation it will be circle and the right stick. Um, so it just swaps them around um, so then it's easier for drop shotting. Now taking your thumb off the aiming, uh, you know, off the right stick when you're aiming, um, it's no good. Like you, it's seriously no good whatsoever. So uh, when you're new at drop shopping, uh, drop, <laughs> drop shotting, not drop shopping, what am I on about? Uh, but when you guys are drop shotting, um, literally, it, you don't take your thumb off the stick. Your thumbs are always on this stick, which is brilliant. Um, so when you are drop shot in, uh, you're going to be able to keep your accuracy perfect instead of moving your thumb off the thing. Oh, you know, off the uh, thumbstick. I do have a scuff control. I only have two paddles. Uh, my paddles are jump shot and reload for some reason. I do need to get that changed. So then it's for drop shotting. I don't really be, need to be using it um, for for reloading, but it is what it is. I just can't be bothered changing it to be honest with you. And I don't know where my uh, my magne magnetic clip is to change it so anyway the next uh next one down so the layout preset as uh, for your sticks mine's default and then uh invert uh well invert vertical up is disabled uh horizontal stick sensitive sensitivity and your vertical stick sensitivity you want that as low as you possibly can i reckon like between a four and a six is usually the best um it's just makes your aiming a lot tighter a lot tidier and easier to you know hold uh hold your accuracy on your enemy because if you've got like a sensitivity like 20 or whatever it goes up to um, and you're aiming at someone it's just going to fling around the screen and you're not going to be able to lock onto your target properly but if you guys want a full video on how to improve your aim within Call of Duty Warzone uh, feel free to drop a comment down below and then next our sens a sensitivity multiplayer for our ADS I have that slightly below one I have it in, uh, 0.95 I just find that it, it just suits me you know, like I've not had a problem with it I've had this since like day one games come out and it seems to fit perfect for myself and then your aim response curve type is standard uh, so so it's just your standard response type on there and then your control of vibration is a big thing a lot of you guys like to have it on so it feels more in game more realistic but turn it off honestly guys it will feel weird for the first couple of weeks oh well not the couple of weeks but first couple of days um, once you get used to it it's a lot better as the control vibrates it actually um, lets your thumb jolt a little bit and it does knock up the aiming um, well, the sen well the recall and stuff like that which is not good it is really not good and it is really effective and especially if you've got higher sensitivity then well um, you're lost but yeah guys I've been using, uh, well, I've had the control vibration off for since probably Black Ops 2 days, and yeah, you definitely need to do it. It is absolutely key. The next, guys, we are going to move down to the weapons. So I've got aim assist and as focusing. These are a few of different alternative options on there, but focusing is pretty much the uh, standard one that you want to have on there. Uh, basically, what focusing does, it helps you, uh, well, it's strong aim, slow down, that also kicks in when narrowly missing targets. So best for players new to analog aiming. So it, to be honest with you, a lot of people do stick with standard which is the traditional aim uh, slow down near target which is good don't get me wrong but if you go for focusing it is a lot more better if you're a really really good player um you've been playing for absolute years you could use position but even i don't use it i've been playing for years i'm not a fantastic player but um i just feel like focusing is better than standard but that's my personal preference of course all these settings you can make them more suited to yourself and um, the next we have weapon mount activate uh, activation i've not changed that just left that as ads plus melee um and then weapon 
weapon mount movement uh, exit that's enabled uh, that's just as why it was uh, aim down sight behavior hold equipment behavior hold use or reload behavior now you want that tap to reload and um, because when picking up weapons going through doors you want to be as quick as you possibly can within this game you want to move as quick as you possibly can and be you know get moving around the map really easy and um, so that you and picking things equipment up when you're dropping you want to pick equipment up as quickly well weapons and stuff like that up as quick as you possibly can and same with your reload behavior uh, so tap to reload i find absolutely fantastic and then uh, depleted ammo weapon switch uh that is disabled um i don't know why well i've always had that as disabled i've ever just switched the weapon out myself um i've never never had that enabled um and then going down to movement then um on the movement side of things slide behavior tap auto move forward disabled automatic sprint disabled never had them on whatsoever i did try them for once and i just really didn't like them uh, power, uh, parachute auto deploy i have that disabled i'd rather just deploy it myself when it needs to be deployed there's no point keep having it automatically deployed you could be halfway down uh falling from the plane and it just randomly decides to deploy itself which is frustrating um and then vehicle camera recenter enabled just it's just easy when you are driving vehicles but it's very rare to drive vehicles within this game anyway so then on to the in-game controller on your general settings i have my brightness at 55 it just does me i don't look too washed out gameplay when i am recording as well um safe area um that's personal preference film grain i have that all the way down to zero and tool tips enabled uh, subtitles uh, accessibility subti uh, subtitles disabled you know that language english i have colorblind on there um i'm not colorblind but i just think that it just looks cool and then colorblind target interface and motion blur well you want your world motion blur off uh, so you want that disabled um and you also want your weapon motion blur disabled as well uh, so that what that means is when you are spinning around aiming and that um all your areas and your provision you know looking through the corner of the eyes and stuff like that it's just all blurred um and then hub now i have my minimap set a uh, shape of a square i've recently changed that over the last uh, 48 hours and i prefer it a lot better than the round minimap it feels like the minimap's a lot bigger and there's a lot more on there and then minimap rotation enabled it just keeps the map focused where it should be um and then that's pretty much it guys i'm not really gonna go into audio too much because like we're going to the, well we're gonna go into audio um but there's not much really to go on to it uh, it's mainly more about your uh, input but audio i'm gonna be discussing so master volume you want that at 100 audio mix i have that boost low does make the uh, footsteps a lot more focused then music volume want that totally off because music does like to play while you're in game and that is absolutely frustrating and then you've got your dialogue volume i just left that as what it is i've left the effects volume as what the it is juggernaut music that's enabled but uh, to be honest i don't think i've ever heard it within this game maybe twice tops and then hit mark sound effects that's total total personal preference and then your voice chat that's simply up to yourself on what you put that on like i don't use voice chat at all um if i'm talking to people it's through discord i don't use playstation chat whatsoever and then on account uh, make sure you have enabled to play on all platform like all play you know that you can play with all platforms cross platform make sure that is enabled and so the voice chat because if you do play online and you're playing cross platform you're playing with your friends who's on pc xbox etc and you're not you know going through skype discord anything like that uh then you want that turned on because otherwise you won't be able to talk to people within game but they're my settings anyway guys um of course each people have theirs different but i find these the better settings for myself they're my personal favorites but if any of you guys have any different ideas or anything like that let me know in the comment section down below if you found this video useful feel free to subscribe drop a like and go follow me on all social media links are down in the description thank you guys so much for tuning in and i'll catch you on the next video